Zero, welcome to the Trying Guard Podcast. I'm I'm so sorry, I forgot how to do the intro. <laughs> wow. Run it, run it, run it. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. A sparkling 67 degrees. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. We're drawing. I am Magnus X. This is Lily Valor. And this is season two of the Trying Guard Podcast. What's the temperature today, Lily? Mm, I want to say, well, first off, welcome to season two. Um, and the temperature today is. I want to go with a solid five. Let's go. That's good. That's good. I'm going to say. I'm gonna say I'm, you know, I'm in about a <laughs> because of the last story I heard before we started this podcast. I was like at a five. I'm at like a seven. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, um, you're welcome. I think I'm, I'm, I'm overdosing on joy here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> eleven, eleven, make a wish. Yay! <laughs> I wish to still be here. Um. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <Hey>. Anyway. <laughs> okay. No, no, okay. Um. The, <laughs> my humor aside. Um. It has been a month since we last got together. Has it been a month? I think it's been a month. Yeah, um, I think so. Is it? Um. Uh. Guy. Uh, maybe maybe yeah. not quite. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. More. Or less, it's been approaching a month. Guys, yeah. it has been awful. It has been one of, like uh, okay. There's a it's joke. It's been rough. Yeah, there's been a running joke um, between Lily and I that um, that I uh, I met Lily in my life immediately got worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think the day I met Lily, there was a pebble in my shoe. And uh, my childhood best friend said, this isn't going to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you stubbed your toe. <laughs> yeah, that stuff. Was... And I ordered a pizza and it came to me burnt. And then the pizza company yeah. shut down when I tried to call them. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and since then, me and Lily have been friends ever since. Uh, begrudgingly so. Uh, despite my best intentions and wishes. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this last month has been... Uh, Somewhat, I wouldn't say rougher, but definitely been like a just like, oh, geez. Yeah, it's yeah. been an interesting accumulation of like a lot of unlucky things happening. Yeah. Directly after each other. Yeah. Um, to those that don't know, we tried to do, uh, we tried to do a proper like, so we planned to do season two, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Um. We had everything set up. We had everything ready to go. My internet died like halfway through the episode, and then there was no audio, and you couldn't even hear Lily because my setup was so abysmally bad um, in my <laughs> new place. It was in it, look. If you go back in the archives, like our first couple episodes are awful, and somehow season two started more awful than. Those episodes. A lot of stuff happened, though. Like, there was a lot of life stuff that came up, which is kind of unavoidable, you know? So, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all I like to say is, um, we're back. Um, we're not better. We're just moderately less bad. <laughs> we're definitely better, slightly. Uh, yeah, you know, I agree to disagree. Um, <laughs> but we are, we're back. Um, season two is going to be a little bit different. Um, first of all, welcome to the office, as you can see. We're still moving into our place, getting things set up. For the next 13 weeks, we're going to be uh, refining the assets, making the podcast look proper. Uh, me and Lily, um, under a blood moon, we both cut our <laughs> cut our thumbs, uh, put a drop of blood into the back and made an oath to actually try this time <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that's what we're going to do. We are, uh, and while also working on the assets and stuff, we have two ambitions. My goal, like, we want to try and art, this isn't, we want to try and art podcast to be a podcast where we actually do stuff. So, Lily already does this anyway, but 
essentially what the point is is that uh in the next 13 weeks which is how long season two is gonna last i'll be working on making and finishing the comic that i worked on in the past and lily has two stippling pieces that she's working on that she expects to be done and also a third magic thing that she says is going to be her 13 week project but um want to elaborate on that yeah lily you want to keep that in the, the chamber well i don't think i have fully committed to mm -hmm. any particular idea honestly yet mm -hmm. um but i don't think i'm gonna work on one project over the next 13 weeks i definitely think i'm gonna try um doing some smaller pieces like for the podcast but i'm probably still gonna work on them outside of the podcast mm -hmm. um just to have some smaller pieces in rotation yeah um, so as you can see, obviously, I'm still working on this coffee shop because I haven't really touched it at all since season one. Um, but I'll probably put some time into this one and, and, and wrap it up here pretty soon. Um, I do have a couple other ideas in mind for uh, later this season. Um, I think I want to do some music related ones. Um, a lot of bands I like are releasing new music uh, today, actually, and in the future. So um Probably gonna see some metal related pieces here soon. Mm -hmm. Probably, but you know, as always, it's gonna be made with dots and probably gonna take me way too long. So that will be fun. Yeah. You know, as long as a relative turn, but you know, we all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all you know, every, everything yeah. can be fun if you try hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and so hopefully by the end of these 13 weeks you'll be seeing several pieces from lily um several numerous all made with okay. tiny dots let's not let's not let's let's you, let's it's not gonna over promise be so and wild. Under -deliver, you know what i mean you know lily actually did inktober where she stippled okay very... wait <laughs> I, it's funny you bring up inktober because i was just thinking about that recently i was looking at my instagram and i was like wow i actually forgot that i did inktober mm. um yeah never again i thought about it this year i'm not doing it i don't think it's for me i think i did it once to like make myself feel like i was official or like was allowed to be here but i think that's it for me honestly that's all it i agree i get i'm down with that and then but yeah, several pieces from Lily. I'm thinking a baker's dozen at least. Um, what? Oh my god! <laughs> we don't even have a dozen. We barely have a dozen weeks. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It'll be easy. It'll be like, guys, y'all. Oh my god, you don't even know. <laughs> don't overpromise. Um. And I don't have a full like thirty page comic done in, in 13 weeks um so you know um and we're not gonna do mine with dots because i'm not crazy um oh, okay thanks you're welcome and <laughs> and something to so something that we're also going to try to do more is uh we're going to do more streams that aren't official episodes of the podcast just uh work streams where we're making assets working on the comic uh lily might show up from time to time but it'll mostly you know be uh, me here, and if Lily feels like it, uh, she can hang out, but she's not contractually obligated to talk to me more than once a week, as per <laughs> the rules instated by the law of Pittsburgh and, <laughs> and <laughs> Wow, legally, legally not allowed. That's, that's, pretty, that's um, pretty legit. Um, we are free to speak to each other more than once a week, but... Uh, um, I'm not obligated. It's not obligation, and uh, we do have yeah, to. Yeah, you know, I'll hang out once in a while. Yeah, and we do have to. Present. If I feel like it, but yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty tired of you usually after these episodes. Same here. I'm tired of me usually after I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can't sleep forever because because uh... <laughs> you got assets to make. Yeah, and comics to draw. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the reason. Anyway, oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you'll be seeing more streams um for us we're just making more art doing more things working on our projects and then you'll also see um us progressing through stuff by the end of this 13 weeks my personal goal is you'll see magnus progressing through stuff yeah and just cracking down like just going through mental emotional breakdowns constantly because i have no idea what i'm doing um 
But throughout these 13 weeks, you'll definitely be seeing more of us. And by the end of season two, we'll have a, we'll do a showcase. We'll talk about finishing projects, the struggles we went through and um, how we plan to proceed forward. So that's, that's season two. Welcome. Um, we're sorry that, <laughs> of what you're about no, to witness. Not. I'm sorry no, about not. what you're about to witness. No, you're uh, not either. It, I'm not allowed to be sorry for what you're about to witness. <laughs> 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 Apparently. But um, I still am. And, no, it'll be fine. And yeah. And yeah. Any, is there we're, any, we're here to have a good time. Is there anything else about season two you wanted to that we need to like brush up on or um i mean i don't really think so we're just gonna be really authentic and you'll really see all the sides of things and it's gonna be a good time i know when you hear people say we're gonna be authentic that means that they're gonna blatantly lie to you (laughs) immediately so no (laughs) so to curb that attitude i'm gonna tell you a hard truth that i've never said live on the podcast before and that hard truth is um I can't sleep without a screen on because I'm afraid of the dark. Um, a hard truth, uh, irrefutable, completely authentic. And now Lily's going to say something. Go look. I can sleep perfectly <laughs> fine in complete darkness. And actually, that's what I prefer. And uh, that's a hard truth. That's a hard truth. Uh, it's very <laughs> difficult for Lily to say that. I never said authentic. <laughs> And that's what you're gonna get every week. On the- <laughs> every week, every week, baby. Freaking facts. Possibly. Possibly. Um, another Possibly hard, facts. Yeah, another hard truth. That's a lie. Um, but I will say a real, a real anecdote from Agnes. And um, to my um, people who grew up in questionable neighborhoods, you probably also have had a similar experience to this, but. When I was little, I used to live in a not so quiet, quaint neighborhood, and uh, I used to sleep to the sound of like uh, distant helicopters and people yelling outside and drinking and like gunshots and stuff. And it was very normal for me, and I slept very soundly. And then um, when I became a teenager, I moved. We moved to like a quieter, quote unquote, safer neighborhood, um, and it was very quiet, and I could not sleep for months so the thing that i had to do to help me sleep was i would turn on because we didn't have cable at the time a basic television and watch um and go to sleep to like cop movies and like <laughs> movies like set it off <laughs> it was like <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a lot of movies that had about like, like yelling and shooting and stuff um and i would sleep so soundly <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah, it's fine. Um, I'm normal. Um, and you are too. We're, cool. <laughs> we're all normal here. Well, we're, we're all normal here. We're all normal adult people. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I am so sorry that you had to do that. Oh, no, that's and fine. that's what you felt comfortable doing. Oh, no, that's fine. It's totally okay. I don't, I don't think it was anybody's was, fault. I don't think. Uh, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's like not necessarily in your control, but yeah. that's just not peaceful. I mean, we all find peace in our own ways. I suppose so. Yeah, I guess this is another thing I need to talk to. Wait, therapist. so what about now? Um, do you still have to sleep with noises, or like, do you feel? Are you, you know, like, do you have other tactics? Uh, noises still help. Um, I typically sleep with headphones in. Um, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, noises still help. Um, I can't genuinely sleep in like absolute silence. Um, oh. Yeah. I. Hmm, I could not sleep with headphones in. I think I am too. I don't like not the idea of not being able to hear something happening if mm. something's happening. Mm. I feel, you know, like Yeah. I I feel similarly. Um I think when I'm living alone, I don't have anyone's say, but I still have something playing like on TV. Mm. But also I'm paranoid, so I do also like double make sure all my doors and stuff are locked. 
before I go to sleep. And then I like lock the door. Also, don't sleep. <laughs> Another thing is, I don't like when I sleep. I leave my bedroom door open. Hi, hi, people are gonna rob me one day. I want you to know how this works. But um, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> but oftentimes when I sleep, I leave my bedroom door open so I can see. If someone tries out. to rob me, I want, I want, I need. They have. I will help you find the money because I don't know where it is either. <laughs> Please, I've been looking for you. <laughs> Help yeah, me. I mean, like, Maybe. you might be better at looking for hidden money than I am. So yeah. let's just let's just work together on this. Maybe you know something I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go on. No, no, no. Um, I also sleep with like my bedroom door open so I can see anything moving in the darkness. <laughs> in case, <laughs> uh, in case something goes down, because you never know. Uh, and I was like, right. you hear things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Hard, tr hard truce. <laughs> hard truce out here. I did, did not know that this was going to be a segment. Yeah, every, uh, every episode now. Uh, every episode, every episode, hard truth. Um, All because uh, I said we were going to be authentic. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how this bit started? Yeah. Oh my god. How it started. Um, wow. Um, Can we like replay me saying all of this in like black and white? <laughs> you know, like as a distant, faded memory. Yeah, hundred percent. Right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shout out to our editor and, and short creator who's gonna have to do that. <laughs> there's no fucking way I'm doing. It. <laughs> it's alright. I don't know who that person is, but uh. I think it's Billy Laller. Billy Laller, God damn, that that name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thanks, Billy. Appreciate yeah. it. So, so, Lily, so Billy. I mean, Lily. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Oh, who knows? This is a terrible mess. This is such. <laughs> All right. Oh man. So okay. We talk. There's a lot of things that are kind of like on the chopping block here for the mm -hmm. podcast. Um, what do you? What do you? What are, what are you doing? What's what? Are, what are, why are you here? Like, what are, <laughs> I'm I'm here to chat about art and to talk about what we're working on. Okay. I'm working on this coffee shop piece, like I have been since season one, because I mm -hmm. haven't put any other time into it really mm -hmm. uh, lately. Because I've been working on this bigger piece, as mm -hmm. you know. Which, if you don't know, um. I'm working on this pretty ambitious piece that you can take a look at on my Instagram. And I've been live streaming most of the progress over on my other channel, The Silent Stippler. There's no talking. I don't chat like I do here. It's just drawing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been working on that for a couple weeks now. And um, it's it's coming along. It's a pretty big piece, so it's taking me a while. But, you know, you can't you can't rush whenever it's um a masterpiece lily lily hasn't learned how to draw lowest shit this, this, is, a, this is a compliment i swear to god this is a... <laughs> uh, thank you <laughs> i realized what i was saying i was like wait no this is <laughs> lily mm. lily is real i promise you it's gonna go to a good place lily lily has gotten into the meditative spirit of drawing slowly and it definitely takes skill i will say yeah. it like d takes practice for sure and i appreciate it i i don't mind drawing slowly i think i think with the things that i'm not saying you don't have to do other things so he does a lot of stuff um allegedly but uh <laughs> <Okay>. but <laughs> nah, she does a lot of stuff um take your time uh i, I promise i'm gonna say something nice uh, but like, I definitely constantly feel the pressure of like, oh, I gotta get finished something like within a certain span of time. Um, I also think it's the 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 ad the, 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 <laughs> where what? um ad, you know the ad the, the oh ad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yes okay I understand um um also think is that and just the fact that like uh it it takes a while like if I'm not if I'm not hyper focused on it and it fades away it's a lot harder for me to like get back to it but because there are like other 
tiny little things that take up that space constantly, it is hard to focus on that thing. So it becomes just like this tug of war of like, okay, you need to focus on this thing. Oh, but there's this other thing you need to focus on. And then when it comes to like in in um in in my brain feels a lot better when I'm working on things that are like finishable. So it's a lot harder for me to go, oh, okay, we're going to work on this long project that you're not going to finish, and that's okay. As opposed to, like, the five things that are like, okay, you can work on these and actually finish these, like, in a shorter amount of time, and then you can clear everything out, and then work on a long thing that you don't, that you know you're not going to finish immediately. But the problem is, other things that can be finished in a short amount of time fill up the space, and you just never get to the long thing. And I think... I mean, I think it's part of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I I see what you're saying. Yeah, like obviously, if I did, like for example, if I worked on this coffee shop piece like full time, mm. it would have been done in like probably a week, mm. maybe maybe a little longer. But I probably definitely could have started another piece or maybe another couple pieces by now, mm. um, of this size. Mm-hmm. But I think. I, when I have these ideas for like a big project, I want it so much more badly than I do the smaller projects that I would rather bring the, yeah. the bigger thing to life, you know, like go big or go home kind of vibe. <laughs> and so I'm like, once I have the idea, I like can't let go of it. Yeah. You know, and I'm like all these small pieces, like I can do those later anytime, but like this big piece, I, I at least need to get it started. Mm. and like have it there so I can keep working on it and so like even this like feeling scene piece that I've been working on my personal project um it's it's coming together like slowly you know like it is coming together slowly in the grand scheme of things but like when you consider the fact that it's huge and I'm drawing it all with dots like I'm actually making pretty good pace Mm -hmm. um I think it's it in the end it it's more satisfying to me to have this in existence than anything like smaller I guess mm. I don't know I just love big projects yeah mm. I think I I understand what you mean too where it's like if you don't get it done like in a certain amount of time you kind of like lose steam yeah I think because I take a long time to think about my bigger ideas and like really hash it out by the time I get to committing to it, I am, I've like sold myself in the idea mm-hmm. already, you know? And at that point it's like, for me, I think it's like a fixation. Like mm-hmm. I can't, I feel like for you, you do like having kind of like a lot of different things happening at once and you don't no, like, it's wrong. No, no, it's wrong. I like, you, like having binge things like uh, you like binge, like, a certain thing yeah because i like having one thing to focus on it's just right but like i think the the length of time is different no i like, like even... you can focus really hard on something for a minute like not like a minute but like a while and then after that you can fixate on like the other thing for a while and then there's another thing that you fixate on for a while and that, like holds your attention the 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 consolation of that is that like um uh, I think the I think the way it is, is that like because I will like I like fixating on things for a long time, and it being like the one thing. Um, yeah. Um, it is just that um like this is this is this is the thing that comes up like professionally too, when it comes to like freelance work where um when I have one client, it's a lot easier to focus because it's like okay, there's one client, I have one thing to do for that client, I can do it and focus on it and just do that forever. But the minute like I'm introduced to two clients, then what will happen is I will pick one client and do the same thing that I'm doing with the one client. And then the other client will just not exist until the second, like the first client is done. And then Mm -hmm. I have to do that. Um, and so the issue, like, like, I just have to, but the issue is that, like, the priority. Once you start something, yeah. you have to finish it before you can do some other, another thing. Yeah. You know what you mean? Well, kind of, okay. yeah. But, but yeah, there's, there's like a line 
like somebody was like um somebody explained like ad uh um and this later it was like imagine you're, like at a counter at a deli shop and um it's super crowded and you have all these things that you want to do um but everybody's like asking for sandwiches and like everybody's like asking for any different things and different orders and different stuff and like it's just like like this noise of just people asking for stuff and you don't know what to do um and when you take like add like medicine like mm -hmm. the equivalent to that is essentially everybody in the deli taking a ticket and getting in line and you're able mm -hmm. to like handle those things like one by one properly mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. handle it you know like a normal person with normal uh -huh. with normal brain things <laughs> right um and i'm definitely in the pre-deli um everybody's yelling at me um mm -hmm. and, and, and then like kind of like shut down a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. where it's like okay well mm -hmm. everybody's dead except for this you random guy <laughs> i'll focus on you for a while and then other things come it was like money and like other people and then it's like okay well now yeah. i'm not picking the thing that i need to have a focus on like other people other things are picking the thing i need to have a focus on and then the thing i want to have a focus on is like oh well, you can't exist because life is dictated that you are not worthy to pick and then and so this is the issue with people like oh you just work on a little bit at times like i can't <laughs> i can't right. i have to finish i have to achieve these other things before i do this a little i just can't do a little bit of time my brain doesn't do that it it hurts it, it yeah hurts. that makes sense yeah the thing is like not not every single way is gonna work for everybody no everybody's different and um if you, you know, like i definitely recognize that i'm i'm a little insane for the way that i draw i feel like you're, you know like i accept that <laughs> i feel like doing it doesn't with, work for everyone i feel like doing it with dots is insane but i feel like you're doing like long big complicated pieces like that is, what most illustrators do, isn't it? Like, as most illustrators... Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, yeah. like, also... But at the same time, no. Like, I don't think... Um, I, I don't... I guess I don't know, but... I imagine that not every artist has, like, these long-term projects that they dedicate themselves to. You know, I feel like every person who I've talked to about my art tends to ask me how I'm able to stay consistent on these long projects. That's interesting. Because I remember, like, because we have uh, 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 a mutual person that we know, MT, who, um, he does, like, 80, 100 hour plus, like, art projects. Um, and then I remember when I was getting into art, there are a lot of artists that I looked into who were like, oh, this piece took me like three months or six months or so. And I assumed that was the normal. Mm -hmm. Because that just is what I was ran into. Like all these people were like, oh, you know, I'm working on this piece. When they say they're working on a piece, they mean like they're working on a piece and it's taking yeah. them. Yeah. Like, I mean, maybe it's like a levels thing, you know? But those like, is what you run into. Like the artwork is very vast and broad. Yeah. yeah. So what you run into is like, completely different from what I run into um, or ran into or run. Yeah. Riz. I mean, there's just so Sorry. many like different kinds of artists and like mm -hmm. different methods of making art that it's like kind of hard to compare, I guess. Not that we're comparing, but like it is different for everyone. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of like, a, yeah, a lot of people do just ask me like how I'm able to spend so much time on mm -hmm. like one project. Cause I like even a lot of like, I don't know, a lot of artists that I know of or talk to, like, I feel like tend to also lose steam pretty quickly. Or mm. if it takes more than like a day, they they just like lose interest um, in, in the drawing. Like a lot of people ask me like how I just like not finish the piece in one sitting and then like come back to it tomorrow and how I'm able to just come back to it repeatedly. And it's like, I don't know. I see the progress every time. Yeah. So that drives me. I don't need to see the, I don't need to see the finished thing. I just need to see progress. Now that interests me. Cause I don't know. Like, I like the appeal of making things in like an hour or something like, yeah, for fun. But like, I don't think I've ever thought of like any project. It's like, Oh, I like to do this in like a, a day. I think 
But this is I want to tell. I think I think I guess is what you want to get out of it because uh, yeah, I know like like the thing I like about um the thing I like about manga is sequential art, um which is like the inverse of like animation, um mm-hmm. but the thing I about like about manga is art, and the reason why I got so into it is because I was so fascinated by like oh shit you can make like these 17, 20 page like things in like a week. And it was so fascinating to me because we were like, oh yeah, they do it in a week. And then when you read about it, it's like, yeah, like you get the you get the contract and usually you have like three or so chapters done ahead of time. And then you just keep staying that three or so chapters ahead and you just keep making it in a week. And you know, you get assistance to help sometimes, but usually they're like two or three assistants to help, but most of the time you're doing it on your own. Um, especially when you're just starting out. And then there are other like magazines where you do once a month and they're like 30 to 50 pages, which is like a whole another thing. And now there are things where you can do the 20, like 22, 23 pages and it's like in two weeks. But either way, like these are all different like formats. So I just like the idea that it's like, oh, you can tell a continuous story in a couple of weeks. And you can do this like really like this heavy value focused art style. You don't have to do a lot of color, but then you still see them like able. I don't know. I like the it's to me. It was like my favorite mix of like you can do illustrated storytelling but you can do it in like a short time and a long time because you're, you're not like mm-hmm. doing every chapter and then releasing it at once like a book um you're doing like chapter by chapter and you're like guiding people along through the story and mm-hmm. and so you're able to do it in like you have these little like you, you get to finish something but you also still have to like work on these like long term projects it's so yeah satisfying. you like finish yeah. the moment but you still have to work on the whole timeline yeah i think it's very satisfying i like i really love just that like mm-hmm. i think it's like the best of both worlds to me um yeah yeah because i don't I feel like to, yeah. to compare that i know obviously like my art it's not like sequential storytelling mm-hmm. but i think the, the parallel there is be. thank you um <laughs> I think the you <laughs> <laughs> trying to be nice. <laughs> um, I think the parallel though is that like, yeah, I my my art moments are harder to define, mm. but the overall timeline of making the piece is there, and mm. it's like, for example, with this piece I'm working on now not the coffee shop the personal uh, project um the like every fold is its own little like moment like or like chapter or whatever that i'm mm. you know creating and so then like i think that helps to to drive me mm. where it's like today i'm gonna work on this fold you know and i work on it and then it it gets done and i'm like dude that fold is there and it looks nice and tomorrow i'm gonna work on the next fold mm. you know and like every single one of these folds turns into this larger piece of fabric and mm. it's just like I am watching it like come to life at the same time um which is what I which is what I, th- what I think I enjoy about it mm-hmm. um where it's it's similar to that where it's you know all these little moments that kind of have accumulated into the entire timeline yeah I get I think I get that way about writing a lot uh where um like I, I write to specific moments yeah you know when i get to that moment and it doesn't have to be like a narratively significant moment it just has to be a significant moment to me where i'm like oh i'm here like <laughs> and where i'm like yeah and like it just it's just a good feeling it was just i'm here i'm at this point i really want to get to this point this yeah meant a lot to me and like even if it doesn't mean a lot in the, the context of the story itself and um th- those are my usually like I guess my like push through moment. So it was like, oh, mm-hmm. still want to keep working on this because I'm here. And uh, the journey between those two points can be difficult, but uh, uh, sometimes, especially when it's a big journey. But uh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it takes practice to, to kind of build that persistence and uh, consistency. But I also think it's interesting to like, understand when to push through and when to pull back like i think that's what that's what's hard too that like people feel uncertain and they're like well how am i supposed to know when i'm supposed to keep pushing the piece or the project and like how am i supposed to know when i'm supposed to pull back 
Um, and it's one of those things where you just have to like kind of listen out. to your intuition. Hmm. And like honestly, like just being un- unafraid of fucking up. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go the wrong way to find the right way. Something, even uh, if you've been going the right way for a while. Something I want to dispel, by the way. Like this, this I'm dispelling this this bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, not you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> something I want to dispel because I heard this a lot when I was getting into art is um. I used to hear, because I used to hear a lot of people go like, oh, how did you manage to, like, when people, like, similarly, like, ask you questions, like, how did you manage to, like, make these, like, elaborate pieces? Like, how did you manage how to write so much or draw so much? And one of the pieces, and one of the responses that people get, person gets is, um, oh, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I yeah. love it so much that it's it's not even work to me. It's like breathing. It's like the, oh, the la, passion la, 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 is la, la, so la. strong that it just like fuels itself constantly, perfectly. And the fact without that, anything else to to push. I've never even thought of even having that question because the emotion has never reached me before. I don't even. I can't contemplate just not wanting to do a lot of work. <laughs> creatively i it, 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 why are you at are yeah. you asking me this because in, in fact if anybody asked me that question i had to just assume there's something wrong with him you're broken maybe you just shouldn't be an artist you shouldn't do creative stuff because clearly it's work to you you fool <laughs> <laughs> so yeah at some point in your life you're gonna come across this person because you're gonna go hey i'm working on this thing in his heart and someone will tell you that they can't conceive of such a thing as it being hard because they just do it and it works out in life. And I don't know. Um, breathing yeah. is easy. I think people have that misconception about me. Mm-hmm. I don't really give off the. I don't. I don't think I give off those vibes. But I do think people assume that about me. I mean, I, mean, I don't know because I do like I make up haters in my mind all the time. So I don't do. know if that's true actually. Yeah, I, you know. I, I, I don't but think people assume. Think, yeah. No. You don't think people will assume that about me? I I think people just assume that you you grind it out. I don't think people think you do it like effortlessly, oh, okay. flawlessly. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I don't know people. Everyone just, just thinks I'm good at grinding. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I, I was assume. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, you know, actually, that's that's probably true. Because people definitely ask. Okay, people ask whether I or how I how I developed the discipline, mm. and I'm like, what? I just. I don't know. You have to go through every single possible emotion and just like <laughs> get through it. <laughs> it's like, it's not that I don't have. Yeah. I don't know. Of course, there are days where I don't have motivation, but I don't rely on motivation or I have created it or I've, I've built my practice so that I don't need motivation. Mm-hmm. I just need to sit down and uncap my pen and just get to it and the rest will follow. Mm-hmm. And, um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, i'm 100 with that and so i want and so i, I know because i used to have this thought where um i used to think oh well i'm struggling so there's clearly something wrong with me and maybe i don't want this as bad as i thought because a lot of people will say like oh well you know if you can't do it or you have a hard time doing right. it you don't want it feels like it's not supposed to be hard yeah and, and if I'll, you're good enough at it yeah if, if you, you love it, love it's not, it yeah enough. if you yeah. love something it shouldn't be hard and that's it's not true i want that's just to not true yeah yeah i love a lot of things and they piss me off regularly on a literal daily basis <laughs> <laughs> just regularly i love stippling so much but it's fucking torture yeah and and so what i want to what i want to ex- express to people if you have that difficulty where you go like well other people seem to get through this easily and they say it's because they love it and i thought i loved we're all it. fronting yeah um not even that that's not what i'm gonna say <laughs> um and i thought they love it like and you think you may not love it as much because you don't have that level of ease with it I want to say, like, well, I guess kind of like Lily said it, just not so boldly. Is that like, um, one, uh, it's always hard, whether you're good or bad. Um, there's a famous documentary with, uh, who's it, uh, 
uh, Miyazaki from Studio Ghibli, where there's the meme of him just going like, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm not good at it. Um, and like and that motherfucker has gotten like 18 million awards and he's still just like <laughs> and, and he's like every and he's still struggling just yeah day and there was a day. scene where he like just had a, a whole bin of like paper scraps mm-hmm. of just tossed ideas and he was like all of my drawings are garbage just, and we're like dude what you're, what you can you, you can, literally you literally breathe excellence you can draw your eyes closed and make something that i can make better than i can make in like the next 10 years um and i'm fine with that i've accepted that. but <laughs> 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 but like that's him and if you watch like even if you see like older people they talk about the stress that comes with making stuff they talk about like how hard the piece was like listen to anybody talk about them making a piece and they'll tell you like oh yeah or like writing or making something they'll tell you how hard it is and it's easy to go like oh wait you're saying it's hard but like at least you did it and it's like yeah but it's still it's still hard and it's a misconception that like it's ever gonna be easy once you get yeah. better I think yeah. that's the lesson that people try to tell you. It's like, it's never going to be easy. It's always going to be hard. Even if you're the best in the world, it's still going to be hard. It might be less right. hard. For, some things might yeah. be less hard to you. But it's still going to be hard. Um, I know when it comes the to... The thing is, like, yeah. it, it, the, the problems never go away. Mm-hmm. Like, the art problems. Yeah. You know, the feelings of inadequacy or, like, you're just having a bad day or some, something like that. The problems never really go away, but as you get better or you get more experience or you spend more time and you just keep at it, you eventually, like, build tools and, like, strategies to kind of overcome those. They never go away, though. You know, the obstacles will always be obstacles. You just have to kind of develop ways or habits to either avoid them or um, just get through them in a healthy way. Yeah. This, I'm telling Lily this story. This is my favorite life lesson I've learned from observation. Um, um, Lily doesn't remember this story because she doesn't listen to me when I talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a hard degree. Um, um, I have a friend who can run for miles and miles and miles. I think he ran a marathon recently. He just runs. He's a, he, his legs are just two pieces of metal attached to a body and they just go and um that's not true i just assume he's part of it because of how much he runs and how he just does it and um i wanted to be able to run a mile i could not run a mile my legs don't do the leg thing they get me from point a to point b but at a very slow pace i'm built like a turtle <laughs> <laughs> i've accepted it <laughs> so so whenever we'd run together, I'd tap out in like 30 seconds. Cause again, built like a turtle. And um he just um and eventually I tried to be like, you know what, I'm gonna be able to run him out. I'm gonna work up to this. And so I worked up to it and I ran him out. Um and one day, and I can only run him out. That is once we reach a mile, my legs explode spontaneously, combust, and they just stop working. <laughs> um, yeah, for the I, mean, next I definitely weeks. couldn't. Yeah. So kudos, man. Uh, high five. Um, so one day we were running. We were like three quarters of the mile in. Um, and I looked over to him. And my friend, like, who can again run forever, um, for, far more than me. I looked over to him. I'm dying. I'm dripping in sweat. Um, I'm wondering, is it easier for me to just jump into oncoming traffic than to finish this? <laughs> and the answer was yes. <laughs> and I look over to my friend, um, and he's sweating too, and completely blew my mind. <laughs> I, I was, I can't express to you how sh- like this motherfucker is sweating. Like he can still run another. 20 something miles we are three quarters on the mile. he's still sweating and i can hear he's breathing this motherfucker is breathing and sweating <laughs> <laughs> he bleeds just like i do you know i was just like wait a second 
Because I'm, I'm thinking once I learn to run a mile, I'll be great. Like, I'll never feel tired again. And I'm just looking at him and just like my whole world crashes down around me. Like, like the, re <laughs> the reality sets in and I'm just like, oh, running is just hard. It's just it, like, it doesn't matter if it's going to be for a mile or 20 miles. It's just going to be hard. My body is just yeah. in pain. <laughs> yeah. Even if you're just taking a, a quick lap around the block, you're still going to sweat. Mm -hmm. I'm just forcing my body to do a thing that's just intense. It is just like, yeah, it doesn't matter how long you do it. You're just making me do an intense thing. And it, it hurts. And, <laughs> and, and, and I don't like it, you know? And so, and so I learned a valuable lesson that day that, um, doing hard things is, is always going to be hard. Um, whether it's your like mile, your first mile or your 20th, like you're still going to sweat. You're still gonna breathe. You're still gonna breathe heavy, and it's still gonna suck like a lot. <laughs> yeah, but soon you can build the endurance, and you can yeah. build some breathing techniques, and you can build some stretching yeah. exercises that will help you along the way. You know, like there's just like things that you can do that are are within your control. You know, which isn't necessarily making the thing easier because that's kind of not a thing yeah um but yeah it's just but the thing is that what's hard about that too though is that it's different for everybody mm. you know like what works for me to like keep pushing through stuff might not work for you yeah. with like you know in this context you know with your art projects but just in general mm -hmm. you know so um yeah just listen to yourself too yeah but yeah i mean yeah just to wrap that part up i i agree that um you know this is a hard thing to do. Um, make it, making stuff. It's a hard thing to do. It's always going to be hard. That's why not everyone does it. But if you feel compelled to, by all means, just try. Yeah. And I will say, you know, look at the thing that you hate the most about your projects. Um, keep hating them. Dread them. Abhor the fact that you're going to have to encounter them someday. Embrace yeah, that. Yeah, but song. look them in the eye <laughs> and be like, we are going to sit here side by side and we are going to be friends. Don't. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Befriend your art demons. I'm going to say... Um, hey, so you can tell them to be quiet when you I, need them to be quiet. I don't... Um, this is this is the differentiate this it, when you listen to this podcast i want you to notice that uh me and lily have two different approaches to life uh lily lily sees her demons she goes i'm gonna give you a hug because i know you're you're only here because you're scared and um i see my demons and um i go um we're both gonna bleed and whoever bleeds out first loses <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not a competition with your demon. Hey, or I was like, be. listen, honey, I know you're just <laughs> lonely and you just need someone to bother about some menial art thing, okay? But here's a cupcake, here's a seat, just just sit here and eat your cupcake and and I will handle the rest. And if, and if that doesn't work for you... Um, and then it, it just looks at me with its sad little puppy eyes, and it's like, okay. And I'm like, cool. And it's very now, sweet. Shush. It's very sweet. And if that doesn't work for you, hate everything about the worst part of what you're doing. And um, get over it and keep doing it. And hate it. You know, what I, you know what I do when I do something that I hate? I complain like a motherfucker through the whole process. I don't I stop. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> 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 Let me have this. Sorry, sorry, go on. No, I'm just joking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, no, no, I complain about it. I, I complain about it to um, anybody who's willing to listen and to many people who aren't, like Lily. Um, and I eventually I get through it and I finish it and I'm fine. I'm up at three o'clock in the morning. I mean, like, I'm just in people's ear. I'm just abhorring it. Um, but I'm bitching and moaning and whining the whole way through. Um, and then eventually I get over it and I finish it and I'm good. Um, and that's just how I cope. Uh, it gets me through the thing. I'm never going to, I'm probably never going to not do that. I will complain to less people. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and take up less space when I can. But it's definitely one of those things where it's like, look, this is hard. I'm a bitch about it. I don't like how hard this is. When I when it was when I'm doing long writing projects, um, I hate the middle. The middles suck. Yeah. Middles for sure. are so hard for write long writing projects. And you have to get through them and they have to not be bad. And um it's a huge effort to work on it. And whenever I'm working on the middle of a writing project, there are like three people I'm like, hey, I'm in the middle. I'm going to complain to you for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, you don't even need to say the second part. You just have to be like, hey, I'm in the middle. And they're yeah. like, here we go. Yeah. All right. Buckle up. Uh, there's a, a lot of artists go through kind of like that ugly phase. Um, uh, Lily, like there's a famous version of Lily called Sketch Lily. Um, um, yeah. That, that I'm not allowed to talk about more without getting shanked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but these are all like real things that we all figure out different ways to cope with. And like, you know, like, I don't want to complain because, uh, because you know, I just want to get through it. Be like, Lily, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it just depends on what you need to hear. Yeah. Do whatever you do to get through how you want to do. If you need to like isolate yourself and go, like, hey, this is a hard part. Um, don't talk to me for a week. I have friends who do that where they're just like, um, I'm a hyper Yeah, I definitely on withdraw, I think, yeah. in those moments. Yeah, I definitely, if I'm going through something really hard, even if it's like in art, I really don't like to share that with people too much. Yeah. Not because I'm like, not because of any kind of perception, just because I know I'm negative mm -hmm. and I don't need to, I guess, push that on anyone. Because, like, the, really the only way to get through it is to just keep going. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, when I get frustrated with sketching or, like, trying to get my idea um, concepted. Yeah, I just need to, like, take a moment to, like, be alone and not hear other people's thoughts or, like, any kind of feedback. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. for me until I'm ready. Yeah, so uh, good advice today is uh, don't listen to other people. <laughs> that includes us you know uh, uh don't listen to us do whatever you want um you know yeah. maybe you don't love it as much as but that just know guy. it's gonna be fine yeah yeah eh? <laughs> it'll probably be fine yeah it, it might not be but we can we can deal with that when we get there we promise you but nothing. till then till then yeah everything's fine yeah everything's fine um, we promise you nothing. We guarantee you. We, gu we promise you nothing, and we will deliver even less. Um, I really do hope that if you are an artist or you're working on a project, that you do take a moment to think about, like, think about the path you're about to go on, especially if you're working on a hard project, or you just want to get better at art. Yeah. Um, also, if yeah. you are working on a long project. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, please complain. Please complain to us. Tell me how hard it is. Um, you can bitch and moan together. Like it doesn't. You don't have to do it alone. Like yeah. yeah. And after you bitch and moan, tell me what you're gonna do to do something about it. Yeah. And we can just hash out ideas. Yeah. Problem. An actual problem solving. Yeah. Well, That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna do emotional part of it, and then figure out how you're gonna solve the problem. That's. That's what adults do. I assume I'm not one, but <laughs> <laughs> we know. All right, all right, Lily. <laughs> well, uh, I have a final question for you. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh a damn second. it! <laughs> there you go. I just wanted to. Um. Um. I wanted to. God, I've been on a lot today. I'm. There's a lot of thoughts in my head, which is rare That's for all me. Right. Sorry That's about okay. That, you guys. It's fine. Uh, uh, how how did your piece go today? Um, I didn't get very far. Uh, mm. but I'm I'm working on this side beam here. Yes. Um, it's you can sort of start seeing a little bit of the rendering come through. I've kind of been mainly working on dark areas, which takes a while, and I'm also not rushing very much. Um. Because it's 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 hard to talk and like really stipple at the same time, yeah. like intensely. So I'm just working on areas that I know um, aren't as intricate. So it kind of makes the progress look a little slower, but it's fine. Yeah. Also, buildings are pretty boring to be honest. I um, love architecture. They're so cool to me. 
It is really cool. It's really not fun to stibble. Oh, yeah. Actually. It's just a lot of rectangles, and it's okay. Yeah, it's just it's more fun whenever it's like wacky, wavy form. Mm, I do that. You know, formy goodness, but it's all good. That's right. Um, and how about yours? That's right. I was still trying to draw a cat patently, and. And I, just, I did see that actually. I, and, I glanced, and I was like, "Oh, this is awful!" And I can't, I can't unawful it. So this is a bad, this is a bad art day. This is. <laughs> it's cold warming up. You know, no, this happens. This isn't warm. This is ice cold. If I put my finger in this, it would freeze off from the, okay. the searing temperature. But that's all right. Uh, we're getting back into it. Oh, uh, there'll be more streams uh, between this week yeah. and uh, something I want to kind of clarify. Mm-hmm. These Friday streams, these these podcast streams, because we're not trying art podcasts. We um we are we are trying art podcasts. Okay. You know, <laughs> we're an art podcast that is focused on trying. I uh, we are trying an art podcast. We're not trying <laughs> art and podcast. It's different. The A, yeah. the A, the A and N is in different places. You have to think about right. it. It's really complex. Yeah. Don't it think about it too hard. Um, yeah, don't worry. But yeah, so throughout this, uh, so our Friday streams from now on will be kind of like a or it'll be more of like a wrap up of what we've done throughout the week, as opposed mm-hmm. to more to just like we only get together once a week to do this because uh, there's no way on our I'll be able to finish this project in one in thirteen hours. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I things. think that's realistic for us. Yeah, so keep that in mind. So next week, um, I'll try. We're gonna try to get some more pages done. Um, I want to try to get like two or three pages done a week. Um, uh, you can join the live stream to see that happen. And Lily will be streaming on her channel. Um, eventually, like whenever. <laughs> you can <laughs> yeah pretty much every day but yeah. there's no specific time frame yeah Lily just kind of shows up and does what the hell she wants and we can't yeah, stop so her. hit that bell and get notifications yeah to find you know, out. literally the only way you can get there <laughs> yeah literally though uh and that is pretty much it uh in terms of just housekeeping and knowing what's going on and what to expect yeah yeah, yeah. um you know we'll get the office cleaned up here we still have to sweep yeah, we'll be making more assets. We'll be doing a lot more things. And so, I'm sorry for cutting you off so rudely earlier, for telling you to That's shut up. Right. And just, just, just know, just for you having to know me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about it too. Um, and with that being said, I believe you had a question for me. I did have a question. Um, um, yeah, what is it? Yeah, the question is, are we the best in the world? You know, Lily. Yes, we are Magnus X. <laughs> All right. Okay, see you next week. Okay, see you next week. <laughs>